Gordon is a proud express engine, and described as the fastest engine on the island of Sodor. One of his favorite moments was speeding along the line with the wind blowing across his funnel. Out of the way now! Express coming through! One morning, Gordon arrived at Knapford Station to pick up his passengers. Suddenly, James arrived. He was surprised to see Gordon. Good morning, Gordon. You seem to be in a cheerful mood. Indeed, I am, little James. The fat controller has requested me to take some special VIPs to the Sodor Beauty Pageant, and everyone will be in filming process on public television. Uh, say, Gordon, this does raise a good question. Since when did we get a beauty pageant on the island of Sodor? Well, to tell you the truth, whatever the script says goes. After all, the Fat Controller has assigned a contract deal with Universal Pictures. Oh, um, okay, I guess that makes sense. The way you explained it, at least. <laughs> I guarantee to you, James, that there is nothing on this island that can possibly go wrong. Soon, they heard a whistle, and it was... Well, well, what do we have here? James Andre Red Engine and... Oh, ho, 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 Gordon! What's poppin', fellas? Spencer, what are you doing here? Well, you see, my friends, I'm prepared to take not only the Duke and Duchesses of Boxford, but also the VIPs to the beauty pageant tomorrow. And best of all, I'll be just in time primarily before another engine arrives with the rest. How'd you like them apples? Really? Well, you're not the only fast engine on this island, Spencer. Our Gordon can break so many records on this express line, and he's only painted blue. And if I were you, Spencer, I'd better watch out for him. You understand? Yeah. Truth to be told, I'm gonna try and make believe I just didn't hear that sentence. Well, toodaloo! Big bully. <laughs> Stinker! Right. Pay no attention to Spencer, Gordon. I suppose that you should challenge him to a race. Perhaps that would prove that you're the fastest engine on Sodor. Now, I myself personally might have had my moments in the past when I was selfish. But even still, I think you'll be more splendid and faster than Spencer any day. But Gordon didn't reply. He just watched Spencer puff away right into the distance. Next day, nothing else has changed. I'm not happy, complained Gordon. I know, smiled Henry. It must be boiler ache. Take my advice, Gordon. You might want to get those tubes cleaned. It's not boiler ache, Henry, grunted Gordon. Don't be vulgar. The only problem that I'm suffering is Spencer. He added. He had recently called me a slow coach and thinks that he can go faster than me. Well, do you know what I think? I think that Spencer's gotten all puffed up in his smoke box. Well, try taking no notice of him, Gordon, smiled Edward. Think about it. Over at Knapford Station, there's a controller who thinks you're the greatest. And it's not because you're just a really useful engine, Gordon. It's also because you're the Flying Scotsman's brother. After what Spencer said, I'm sure that you can beat him in a race any day. So what do you say? Added Edward. Gordon skeptically thought for a minute, and then said, You know, Edward, you're right. Why should I be able to take a negative comment from Spencer when I can speed down the rails just like my brother? I'll prove to Spencer that I can be quick as him, cause I am Gordon! Fastest and best and I pull the express! Yeah! That's a boy, old chap! Now go out there and make us proud! Right, here goes.
Later that day, Gordon arrived at Knapford Station with the Wild Noor Western. He was patiently excited to see who his passengers are. Hmm. Okay, no sign of Spencer. This is going to be easy. Good morning, Gordon! Didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> Likely. Cause as the Flying Scotsman's brother, I usually like to have a good long run to stretch my wheels. Oh, is that so? Well, let's make a bet. If I win, I get to Well Northwestern for a week via permission. But if you win, I'll shunt the troublesome trucks in the yard. Mm, right. I accept your challenge. May the best express engine win. Just then, Percy chuffed in to start the race. Now, as you may know, this race contains only one lap from Napford to the pageant. If you see an engine or two coming down on your line, warn the signalman. Now, on your mark, get set. Give it up, Gordon! I can beat your speed just as much as the next engine on the island! Don't be so sure about that, Spencer! You're dealing with a real express engine here! Oh yeah? Watch me! So Spencer went faster than ever, and Gordon followed. Then there was trouble. Spencer was finding himself going slower and slower. At last, he came to a stop altogether. Your water tanks have run dry! We never took on more water before we started! Botheration! Ha <laughs> ha! Guess I showed that Spencer who's the real express engine here. Well, here we are! The Sodor Beauty Pageant! The passengers climbed out of the coaches. Gordon was feeling proud of himself. He had won the race. Then there was trouble. Uh, yeah, that's like fine and dandy and all. But where's the Duke and Duchess of Boxford? They're supposed to, like, arrive here with Spencer? Then Gordon remembered. Oh dear, the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. I forgot all about them. Ex excuse me, ladies. I'll be right back. Later that day, Gordon convinced Lady to take his coaches away and then raced back to Spencer. Are you alright? I hear that you've run out of water. You could say that. <laughs> now don't worry, Spencer. My driver can call for help, and then we can pull the train together. So, with Spencer's tanks full of water and his tender full of coal, the two friends were ready to make up for lost time.
finally, Gordon and Spencer chuffed to the pageant show. All the VIPs cheered and thanked Gordon. Don't thank me. Thank both me and Spencer. Both fast, best, and pull the express. Even Spencer had to smile.